In 1988, when quantum was found, we started to design and manufacture portable PC, which were a new idea in the market. In year 2000, we became world number one in laptop manufacturing. We also set a new vision for the future and human-centric computing. In the year 2020, we set another new goal to use cloud computing, our technology on the client side, and our innovations around machine learning and AI for a bigger challenges from global health. Our corporate spirit is to create value by solving the real-world problems. We plan SmartX as our next step for future growth, with smart medicine being the most important platform to accessory innovation in healthcare. What well, I think is seem to be intuitively clear for most people that there is a rising level of complexity and the medical problems that we are encountering today. We are also seeing the shortage or the lack of properly educated medical professionals available to managing these issues at different corners of the world. Therefore, we're hoping that the technical improvement or innovation can support or help to solve this concern. To achieve the goal of smart connected health, we will need the new medical IoT for real-time vital sign and also use AI inferencing for prediction, prevention, and precision health. And this is a fundamental idea of AIoT. And based on this, we design and architect a new wearable ECG monitors that can keep the patients connected through the internet to the caregiver. The advent of AI OT technology, technology that combines sensors and AI to process the output of those sensors, allows us to collect continuous data on patients, analyze it in real time, and therefore make decisions based on more information and more updated information which will lead to better healthcare. For inpatient cases, we try to do real-time monitoring through a wearable ECG. We want to make sure that the device is comfortable for patient to wear. So when they are moving around the hospital, their heart can be the monitor 24 hours, seven days, a real-time basis. When the inpatient need to be transported from one hospital to another hospital, we can also do the same things in the ambulance cars. When for our patient, we have a very simple version that our patient can carry with them all the time. When they don't feel well, they can record a period of readings and send it back to the crowd for professional care giver to watch over. One of the very exciting things for me is using information that are really low-lying fruit that is acquired on many, many people that have devices or the wearable devices so that you could see how they're doing in the home environment. And then using that information, leveraging those data to prevent them from having some very bad adverse event. AI can totally transform healthcare because most of the healthcare today is uh, just driven by pattern matching. And a lot of it is based, first of all, on the guesswork because we don't have the full information. And second of all, human capacity to remember the facts. So AI can actually take this guesswork of very simplistic pattern matching that we can do as humans and do it in much more elaborate way, looking at all the data that was collected in not only in a specific healthcare system, but across healthcare systems. What it would result in is not only more effective and more personalized cures, but also significant decrease in mistakes and in unnecessary procedures that we are all currently encountering. Our vision on digital health is to provide precision and personalized medical services anytime, anywhere, for anyone at any age over the cloud through AI. And based on that, we build the following three platforms. 
The first one is called Quokka AIM. AIM stands for AI Medicine. It's the AI medical cloud that can transfer or convert the medical data through machine learning into AI models. The second one is called ATM. ATM stands for AI Telemedicine. It's data real-time streaming to connect hospital to hospitals. The last one is that we try to provision telehealth as a service over the cloud. The efficiency after applying the medical cloud platform are benefiting that the patients are more effectively treated and their performances of the treatment are far better than our previous average performance uh, metrics. And these are only a few of the positive feedbacks that we already enjoy. Our partnership with MIT played a very important role in the transformations of Quanta in the past 35 years. Our collaboration has to do with computers, and Quanta is arguably the best at making computers. We are now very focused on AI medicine. We are not just trying to benefit from the international collaboration, we try to benefit our partner as well. The benefits of this collaboration comes from the different and complementary roles that we play. At MIT, we focus on basic research. At Quanta, they are very good at turning ideas into products. At the same time, we both validate our research by working closely with local hospitals. This international collaboration allow us to develop the digital health innovation solutions together to solve the biggest challenges of global health. I believe our previous research has prepared us well to provide digital healthcare. Imagine a case in which a doctor can diagnose, treat, or even perform surgery on a patient in Africa as well as he or she can in Taiwan. I have dedicated my professional life to the care of people who are ill, and in particular with cardiovascular disease. And, and I am only interested in being involved in endeavors that I think are really going to make a difference. And this is one case where I think that we can. And I say that because the devices are available and similar devices I've prescribed for patients. It is the thing that I am really excited about. We can really change how people are treated every day. And what excites me is the opportunities that when each one of us goes to our healthcare provider, we're going to be seeing AI in every point of our diagnostics and care. For me, this is kind of back to the future. 20 years ago, when we tried to make telemedicine a reality, we were too soon. The technology wasn't there. Today it is modern communication technologies, the advent of wearable and portable sensors makes this a time to jump into telemedicine with both feet. We are committed to integrate all our innovations together with our partners to resolve the biggest challenges ever for the future. Huangde is committed to transferring all our digital innovations for the past 35 years to transform future healthcare for the global community.